What is up guys, Doc Redstone here with another video for you all today. And so today I'm going to be going over rising versus falling monostable circuits. And uh, some of you may have heard of them, some of you may have not. But uh, we'll go ahead and go over them. Over here in the dark wood we have the falling monostable circuits. And over here on the uh, smooth sandstone we have the rising monostable circuits. So now you may be wondering what the difference is and uh, here's just a bunch of rising monostable circuits and as you can see as soon as I tick this lever it almost responds instantly and as soon as I tick it it responds instantly and basically ticking this lever of course provides power to the circuit so when I give power to the circuit these all press give power to the circuit it presses Now this one won't work with the lever because as a button it's a Rise, or actually, I think this may be a falling monostable circuit. I put it on the wrong side. Yep, this would be a falling monostable circuit, as you can see. So basically, the rising monostable circuits activate upon a button press almost instantly, or a lever tick. So as soon as this is powered, it goes instantly. Now, the falling monostable circuits, which are over here in the dark wood, as you can see, if I tick this, nothing happens. This plank still stays in its position. And this is powered. Now as soon as I unpower it, you can see that the plank gets pushed up. And once again I power it, nothing happens. And I unpower it and the plank is pulled down. Um, same thing here. This is just a less compact form of a falling monostable circuit. So as you can see, I take the lever. This whole thing is powered. You can see by the redstone dust. And nothing's happening. Um, this piston has not extended to push this block here yet. Now as soon as I tick it, you can see that the piston pushes forward. And once again, it's powered. Nothing happens. Depowered, this happens. So you may be wondering, though, what's the purpose of a rising versus falling edge monostable circuit? Falling edge just seems to take longer. Well, we come over here to a very impractical double piston extender. Um, so as you can see, if I tick this, it extends and when I un it pulls back the block. Now over here in this purple wool we have a falling edge monostable circuit. So basically as soon as I power this you can see that the two pistons do extend pushing this block to two blocks. Now I activated the falling edge monostable circuit. However, as you can see right now, nothing's happening. The falling edge monostable circuit has not emitted a current. Now as soon as I untick it, you can see it activates. And I will do that again real quick. As you can see, it activates upon depowering the circuit. Now that's helpful because if we did not have this falling edge monostable circuit, as you can see, it still extends perfectly fine but when retracting this block doesn't come to us and because of the mon falling edge monostable circuit as soon as I tick this it extends and as soon as I untick it it actually provides power to pull back and so it basically only works when this whole circuit's depowered and so it can pull this block back so this is a very unpractical use obviously because this is a huge double piston extender now however recently in my 4x4 piston door, I've actually used it in a more um, useful way. And so we'll come over here. Now this right here is my 4x4 piston door. And if I go ahead and take this, you can see it works. And as you see, that gets pulled. And uh, if I actually break these two blocks, you will see that these two act on a double piston extender and when you untick it it gets pulled back now this thing is um, basically very simple because it's just a falling edge monostable circuit um, connected to a double piston extender so as soon as I tick this power is pushed this way and goes in here and extends these pistons and it also causes the double piston extender to extend now you can also see that right here is the falling edge monostable circuit that I showed over there 
and right now it's not providing power as you can see the whole circuit's power but this line right here is not and that would be the falling edge line so as soon as I untick this let's see where's the lever at okay so as soon as we untick this right here watch these repeaters you see they got a current and that current allows for these pistons not these are actually hidden um, this piston right here to pull this block back so now let's say that we break this rum falling edge monostable circuit what happens to this door as you can see it still opens perfectly fine or closes perfectly fine as you can see these two extend and prevent um, you from being able to get in however as soon as I untick it you can see these two blocks stay right here these pistons have no way of pulling them back and now your door is jammed and blocked and so you just go ahead and put it back press it again you can see it extends and as soon as you pull it there you go it pulls it right back and so that's the purpose of a falling edge monostable circuit I uh, figured I'd show you guys a quick tutorial on what the difference between the two was I uh, haven't been putting out as many videos as I'd like to and uh, just for the record this door will be having a tutorial put out for it very soon so anyway guys thanks for watching it's been Doc Redstone please rate comment subscribe Thanks, guys. Peace out.